How about on the Ole Miss campus? The speed limit's 18 because of Archie Manning. He wore number 18 for the Rebels. Of course, he was a SEC Player of the Year in 1969, first-team All-American, and as we said, has his number retired in a college football Hall of Famer. Kind enough to join us here on Off the Bench this morning. Arch, good morning, man. How are you? Hey, guys. How y'all doing today? Doing good. Doing good. Thanks for the time, and thanks for, for joining us. Before we get into the college game, we have tons to talk to you about with LSU Ole Miss. We were still gushing yesterday over the quarterback play we saw in Atlanta with Matt Ryan and Drew Brees, and Brees pulling off that miracle with the Saints and, and getting that win over the Falcons. From your point of view, such a great quarterback in the NFL and college and growing up and, and the family with it. Um, did you have a chance to see that game? And when you see quarterback play like that, what do you think of it? Well, of course, I was probably one of the few people uh, not watching the Saints game because I was watching the Giants That's game. Right. That's but right. The Giants game uh, got over, and, and by the way, they were glad they got their first win. But I did. I saw the end of the game, and I, I was turning uh, – Back and forth. Uh, yeah, great play by both those core. I tell you, quarterback play in the NFL right now, um, it's, uh, it's it's a lot of good young players coming coming in the league, good young quarterbacks lighting it up, but still guys, you know, like Drew, Drew's phenomenal, and then Matt's a just outstanding player. So that was quite an exhibition. Uh, some games like that, the, you know, the, the defenses are just, just running behind. Now, I know Atlanta had some injuries. Um, but gosh, some of these games are like arena ball. And, right. um, and then, but then you turn around and you look down at Jacksonville, nine six, <laughs> and uh, they get beat nine to three on Sunday. So uh-huh. how do you, how do you figure? How do you figure? How cool is this week for you in the NFL when, when the Saints go play one of your sons? Like the Saints will travel up to New York and they'll be facing Eli. Uh, and I know you've seen this for so many years now with Peyton being retired after his eighteen years and Eli being in the league now for so long, but. Do you still kind of find this cool when, when, when the team that you played for nah, goes in? That's, yeah. you know, that's, that's not really my favorite thing. I mean, it's uh, the only thing worse than that for me is when they played each other. Yeah. We, didn't <laughs> like, we didn't like that either. So that, that's not my favorite thing. And uh, <clears throat> for one thing, the Saints are mighty good. Giants are um, kind of, you know, start over under Pat Shermer, and, uh, struggled out of the gate a little bit, and did get a win on Sunday. So um, they'll have their hands full with the Saints. Yeah, look, hey, Saquon looks good, though. So, you know, never know. Maybe maybe the Giants get it together. Uh, we're talking to Archie Manning here on Off the Bench, 104.5, 100.3 ESPN. And, uh, Archie, I, I think I, I want to pick your brain about Coach Ogeron because you're someone who obviously knew him during his time at Ole Miss. Um, and really his time at Ole Miss has been the biggest kind of red flag in, on, on his resume. It's what people who don't think he's the man for the job constantly bring up. But he's now put together some pretty impressive numbers here at LSU. Um, what, what what do you think? Are you surprised at all by what you've seen Ogeron do here? I, I don't think I don't think his time at Ole Miss was was a red flag. You've heard, um, I, I think a lot of it. Is. Um, yeah, and you've heard Ed say, "Hey, I, I probably, I, I'm, I'm not sure anyone is is totally ready to be a head coach, but you got to jump in there." Mm-hmm. So he yeah. jumped in with. Very best, doing the very best he can. Now he admits he would probably do some things different. He does things different now as a head coach here at LSU. So, um, not, but I'll, I'll say this: uh, when he left there, uh, then the, the next coach came along and uh, won a bunch of games with the with the players that Ed recruited to Ole Miss. He right. did a really good job yeah. recruiting, recruiting some players in there. But uh, it's hard, you know. And he was coming. Uh, of course, you know he's a southern guy, but he was coming from the um, uh, west coast, and uh, it was just—it was just—it was, just, was a tough time. He made a few mistakes, but I think he learned. You know, the best thing about somebody is when they admit they made some mistakes and they learn from it. Yeah. And I don't think Ed would be the first to tell you. You know, that experience from him for him was certainly beneficial uh, to his his next next job in the next couple of years as an assistant and so forth, and then back at, at the helm and. Uh, you know, you just can't say enough about the job that Ed and his coaching staff have done this year, knocking off a couple of top ten teams and and the uh, uh, football they're playing, the way they've climbed in the polls and so forth. So it's uh, my hats off to them. Yeah, and, and look, it looks like a really fun Saturday night is set up eight fifteen at night. LSU Ole Miss that is as classic college football as you're going to find. And Ole Miss is bringing some weapons to bear here. Archie, uh, AJ Brown, Demarcus Lodge, DK Matt Metcalf, Jordan Tom, who's thrown to them. 
Like where where does that wide receiver rank? Where does that wide receiver core rank in 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 teams that you've seen? Uh, it's, it's probably one of the best cores I know Ole Miss has ever had, and people are saying one of the best in the country. Listen, we had uh, we had two of those guys. Demarcus couldn't come down to our football camp this summer, hmm. and uh, they really are impressive. AJ had uh, one of the top years in the country last year for a wide receiver. And, you know, he's a kid that came out of Starkville, Mississippi. That's kind of ironic uh, playing playing wide receiver at Ole Miss. But great year last year. He's a he's a get open guy. He runs after the catch. Uh, great kid, good character kid, really outstanding player. It's going to be a good pro. Uh, DK Metcalf is is a really uh, almost a, a, a freak. Um, you know, his dad, uh, Terrence Metcalf, was an All-American player at Ole Miss as an offensive tackle, played pro football. Oh, wow. But DK played, played right there at high school ball in Oxford. It was it was outstanding player, so committed early to coming to Ole Miss. But he's guys he's he's grown since he's gotten to Ole Miss and he's and then he's kind of developed and he's he's tall and he's got this uh just um, he looks like a defensive end, yet he's out there on the wing and he runs by people, he catches jump balls, he's just a he's just an outstanding player. So they've got a good they've got a good receiving core. Uh, got an outstanding quarterback. You know, all the talk was Shea Patterson last year, and Shea was playing good until he got hurt. Yeah. Jordan came in. He played. He had some 400 games, last, 400 yard games last year, and done it again this year. He's he, he's a good player. I mean, he's a real. We had him in our camp. He throws the ball as well as well as anyone. So uh, they they're running the ball better this year. And our biggest problem, and this is, I'm sure, what LSU's kind of gloating over. We just and stop people very well, yeah. and hadn't done it in two years. We hadn't the do them seem to tackle too good and get people on the ground, and we've had some teams go up and down the field. So I'm sure uh, LSU is licking their chops there. We'll see if Ole Miss can gear up and make a game out of it. SEC Player of the Year back in 1969, and a legend in this series, Archie Manning joining us here on 104.5 ESPN Baton Rouge, 100.3 ESPN Radio down in New Orleans. We mentioned that they'll unveil the statue of Dr. Billy Cannon this Friday night. On the uh, on the eve of the contest over here in Baton Rouge, do you have some memories of this game? I know that that Billy Cannon, those guys were kind of the, the guys that you were looking up to when you were a kid, watching in Drew, Mississippi, between LSU and Ole Miss. Then you became ten years later one of the the star studs in this in this series. But from your point of view, uh, LSU, Ole Miss, what what jumps to your memory? Well, for one thing, and, and you know, youngsters need to understand this. Back in the the fifties. Uh, late 50s, uh, early 60s. Um, Ole Miss and LSU was the top rivalry in the South. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I know Alabama and LSU has jumped in there and other people now, Georgia and Auburn. Uh, but it was it was the top rivalry in the South. It was the game. And uh, I played for Johnny Vault during those days. And actually, during those years, Ole Miss had good teams. And there really weren't but two games a year that he really had to just – gear up for they could beat people it was tennessee and lsu and most of the time it was uh, games out in tiger stadium so it's really fitting and great that the the statue is being unveiled uh, the great game that billy had 1959 i was 10 years old and i listened to it on the radio with my dad wow and um as the years went by of course then i moved to um new, new orleans and i used to watch um Channel 4 here, every, that uh, night before the game, uh, half brought it, always played that run back again before the Ole Miss LSU game. But then one of the uh, great honors I had is I got to, got to know Billy. And um, first time I met him, we went to the um, – they picked a 25-year All-SEC team in 1971 over in Birmingham. And I was fortunate enough to be on that team with Billy, and I sat by him that night at the dinner. And we became buddies. So, Billy um, – God, we had a great time several years ago when uh, he was inducted into the college yeah. Hall of Fame, and we brought that that whole class here to New Orleans for the Sugar Bowl, and uh, spent a lot of time with Bill and his wife, and uh, he's a great storyteller. And, and then Billy had a he had a Mississippi background. My wife is from Philadelphia, Mississippi, and Billy originally uh, uh, spent time in Philadelphia, Mississippi, and had family there. So he was a uh, he was really a good guy, and I know he's missed by uh, a lot of people, especially the LSU family. Always great to pick your brain and hear from you, Arch. Hope we see you uh, down in Baton Rouge soon. Thank you. Okay, guys. Thanks for having me. Thanks Thank you. Arch Manning joining us for a couple of minutes here on Off the Bench.